ready? Hmm? You ready? Huh? Wanna go for a walk? Come on, Dakota. My name is Dee Mueller. My husband Dan and I um, live in Wright County, Minnesota. We've lived here a little over 20 years, and we have um, 10 dogs and um, hey, three horses, hey, three donkeys, uh, and I think eight cats now. Really? Dakota is one of 10 dogs, and um, I've had animals all my life. It's in the genes. We um, just kept monitoring him and he kept getting worse. He started to have basically little mini seizures where he would be staring at the wall for no reason. And then um, one Sunday morning, middle of the night actually, um, he had a grand mal seizure and um, he had another one um, within 11 hours. I mean, I could go through a laundry list of the kinds of cancers that we have dealt with, with all of our dogs. Every one of them needs, needs a cure. Dakota isn't, you know, unique. He could have any kind of cancer. He just happens to have a brain tumor. Once we move into the OR, we'll put our glo gloves and gowns and caps and masks on and, and then we'll um, drape him in, cover him with, with towels and drapes. He'll, he will be put into a head frame that supports his head during surgery, some pins that will go into the skull and support his head during surgery and allow us to be able to get in, get to where we need to be for the surgery. Um, they'll reprep his head, the skin on his head, so that we have um, aseptic surgical technique. The surgery usually takes somewhere between one and a half to two hours. Once we get the skin open, we usually can see the muscle, the temporalis muscle. We'll make an incision um, in the fascia, which is the tissue that overlies the muscle, and then elevate or pull the muscle away from the skull and retract it away so that we can see the skull itself. Looking at the MRI, we know about where the tumor is, so we try to make our bone flap as much over the tumor where the tumor is in the underlying brain as possible. And we drill some holes to kind of define where that bone flap will be, and then we use a saw or a craniotome to create the bone flap. We remove the bone flap and, and dissect until we find the tumor, the abnormal looking tissue. We'll get a piece for the biopsy and then remove abnormal looking tissue until we see normal brain tissue. Surgery alone will buy you some time, maybe a couple of months, but the tumor, if you don't do anything else, it will regrow because of this microscopic residual tumor that's left behind. If, there, if it's a really aggressive tumor, a malignant tumor, it will grow back very, very quickly. Once Dakota got through the rehab, um, the first maybe three weeks, he's been back so much to his normal self that the issues that he was having are gone. Dakota is enjoying every single day of his life, and the prognosis, if he hadn't had surgery, was poor quality of life and probably not living beyond 45 days. Dr. Pluhar and her team have just, you know, what they do every day is just um, a blessing. The proof is in Dakota today. God bless anybody that um, allows their animals to go into these kinds of studies, whether it's for brain tumors or for other, other illnesses. Other dogs are gonna benefit in the long run, and then ultimately human beings. It's just, you have to be patient. Because eventually there will be cures. <laughs>